Hey there and welcome to Jovo Wednesday on Devil Lab. I'm Jan, one of the founders of Jovo and today in this first episode I'm going to show you how to build your first Alexa skill with the Jovo framework. The Jovo framework is the first and most popular open source framework that lets you build voice apps for both Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. And today I'm going to show you in a few simple steps how to set up your first Alexa skill project, um, write your first logic of your Alexa skill and then deploy this to the platform. So let's get started. And you can find more about how to use Jovo and what you can do with it on the Jovo website on jovo.tech. And you can also take a look at the docs and so there's a uh, quick start guide here and some installation and so on. And we also just launched version 2 of the Jovo framework. So if you're not new to Jovo, you might still want to check this out and see if there's any new changes um, that might be interesting to you. And so uh, let's get started um, to to install uh, Jovo um, go to your command line interface um, to your terminal, for example, and type in sudo npm install globally the Jovo CLI. This might take a while, so let me get back to you when it's done. Okay, so after our CLI is installed, um, we can create a new Jovo project with a Jovo new command. And so it's Jovo new, and then you need to give it a name. For example, let's call it Devil Lab Alexa. And this will create a fresh new Jovo project, um, download uh, the default template Hello World, and then do an NPM install for you so that you can get started right away. So after the installation is completed, um, we go into um, the folder that was just created with our project name and can take a look at the code. And so I'm going to open it in Visual Studio Code, which is my preferred code editor. And this is how a Jovo project looks like. So we have a language model here. This is a Jovo language model. This is going to be translated later into an Alexa interaction model. And it can also be used to um, be translated into a language model for um, dialogue flow, which is used for Google Assistant. And I'm going to show you this in a later episode. Um, right now, it's only interesting for us that there is a hello world intent and a my name is intent. And this is going to be used later in our logic. And you can find the logic of your Alexa skill in the source folder in the app.js file. So here um, you can see that there's some app initialization to be done. So we have a few modules from Jovo, like the Alexa module. We also have a debugger, which we, you will see later. And then down there is the app logic. And this is what's most interesting to us right now. And so we have a launch intent, which is just doing a redirect to the hello world intent. And in this hello world intent, we're asking um, the user for their names and uh, with, uh, with some reprompt here. And then if a, uh, if a person is answering with their name, uh, we, um, we just greet the person and telling them it's nice to meet them. And that's it. And so this is how the logic looks like. And so usually you would um, go to the Alexa platform, create a new Alexa skill project, upload your code somewhere, and then test it on your device. And what we've done with Jovo, we built a local development server and a debugger, which makes it easier for you to test the flow and the logic of your voice app. And so we're gonna test it um, in our debugger locally first, and then afterwards deploy it to the Alexa skill platform. So let's just do some local development first. So we go to um, our terminal, and um, to run the Jovo development server, we just type in Jovo run. Okay, so um, as you can see here, it also created a local database for you for local debugging. I don't need to care about this, but this is gonna be interesting later when we store user specific data. And so to open the Jovo debugger, you just need to press the, the dot key and then that's it. So this is how the Jovo debugger looks like. And so uh, without having to upload the Alexa skill project somewhere, we, we can already test um, the, the code locally. So if I type in launch, um, you can see that it asks me for the name and I can specify which name um, I want to answer with, for example, John. And then it says, hey, John, nice to meet you. And we can do updates there. So uh, if I go back to the code, we can say, hello there, what's your name? And so if, I, if we wanted to update, um, I usually use control C to, um, to restart the server um, because um, it 
the server needs to be restarted for updates to work. And so let's go back to the debugger, do launch again, and it says hello world, uh, hello there, uh, what's your name? And so this is how you can like do a dry run of how your logic uh, works. But next uh, stop is uh, going to deploy it um, to the Alexa platform. And so to do this, uh, we're gonna use two commands. We're gonna use the Jovo build and the Jovo deploy command. And so as Jovo is a cross-platform framework, we have an abstracted language model and an abstracted project file and the project JS here, for example, um, that is then translated into platform specific files. And this translation is happening in the Jovo build process um, in the Jovo CLI. And so for right now, for example, we don't need the Google action. And so we can just comment that out. And uh, as an endpoint, you can see the Jovo webhook URL that, um, that we've been using in the debugger is used here. And so um, if I run Jovo build, for example, this is going to create platform specific files for Alexa. So if, um, if I now go back to my project, you can find the platforms folder here with an Alexa skill folder or with a skill.json, which is later used for deployment. And here you can see my Jovo webhook endpoint is added um, here. And so this is gonna be used later uh, for local development while it's still running on Alexa. And the language model was translated also into an Alexa interaction model. So you can find the hello world intent and the my name is intent here. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use the Jovo deploy command to use this platforms folder and deploy to Alexa. And so usually if you're really new to Alexa development, there's, um, we need to create a new skill in the Alexa developer console. And we could do this by hand, create a language model by hand, at the endpoint by hand. We could do this, but we can also use the Jovo deploy command. And Jovo uses, and you can learn more in our docs for Jovo deploy, Jovo uses the ask CLI for deploying to the Alexa platform. And so you, what you first need to do is install the ask CLI. And you can do this again with a sudo npm install globally ask CLI. So after Ask CLI is installed, uh, we, uh, we need to create a new profile. So we need to connect the Ask CLI with our Amazon developer account. And so I hope you already have an Amazon developer account and then we can do this. So um, for example, I do Ask init here and I can create a new default command. And so if I do this, I really don't need AWS credentials right now. We can do this later. So skip it here. So this is gonna open up Amazon, the Amazon site and authentication process. And if I now sign in and allow this, it is connected. So we now have the, the access token ready. So if I go back here, um, you can find the vendor ID since I'm using two for Jovo. Um, so if you have several accounts connected to your um, Amazon developer account, you need to specify the vendor ID. And so, and that's it. And so now it is created. So if you do ask in it again, you can see that the default profile is created. Okay, and so now it should be able to deploy it um, with Jovo deploy. And so this should create a new Alexa skill project called Double Lab Alexa and build the language model and so on. So let's try it out. It also zips the project um, so that you can later um, upload it to AWS Lambda, for example, or other cloud providers. We don't need that for now, but the deploy process deploys both uh, the voice projects and the code. And, and so, um, so it created a new skill um, called Double Lab Alexa with a new skill ID. Um, right now, you can see this in the language model. Um, we have the invocation name, my test app. So that's the default. It added my webhook URL as an endpoint and now it's building the interaction model. But we can already um, open the developer console again and see that um, this project was created. And so if we go in there, we can see that um, my hello world intent was deployed, the my name is intent was deployed. And if I go to endpoint, you can see that my webhook URL was added as an endpoint. And so that uh, already worked. And if I go um, 
can, I can also see here that uh, enabling skill for testing. So it's also enabled for testing. And so I should be able to test it on this device, which is connected to the same Amazon account that my Ask CLI and my developer console is connected to. And so if I do Jovo run again, and open the debugger again, I can also test it on a device. And so let's try it out. Alexa, open my test app. Hello there. What's your name? My name is Sam. Hey, Sam. Nice to meet you. And so that's it. So it worked. As you can see here, it was still local development. They didn't have to upload the code somewhere. Um, we can do this in a later episode, upload it to AWS Lambda, for example, or any other cloud provider. And um, also uh, one feature of the debugger is you don't have to press buttons there. You can still talk to your device and then take a look later into your debugger and see how the conversation worked. And so you can see um, all the requests that were sent from the device. You can see if the output was right. So it understood them correctly, for example. And so, yeah, that's it. So this is how you can build your first Alexa skill uh, with Jovo, the Jovo debugger um, and the Jovo CLI. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to build your first Google action uh, with Jovo. It's not much different. Uh, we need to use Dialogflow for this um, and the Google Assistant platform. But from a code wise, it's the same thing because Jovo enables you to build Alexa skills and Google actions with only one code base. Uh, so see you next week for Jovo Wednesday on the Dabble Lab channel. Thanks a lot.